YT Dan Duel Links is brought to you by Dank Duelists Like You. Become a YouTube member to never miss. Ah yes, my boys. The time has finally come. The Meta's Cuckle Doodle Doos have now come home to roost and the time has come for Konami to lay down its solemn judgment yet again. It's time for a meta update. So as you guys already know, as you've probably seen other people's videos and other people's uh, conversations and talk tracks around this, you know, what has already been hit. So I'm not gonna go into reading through every single skill and every single ability, but I am gonna give my big overview of uh, what's going on in the meta in terms of skills and also the uh, limited cards. So let's talk about the skill rebalancing first. What I find really interesting here is that they finally clapped Ishizu's soft head, no mortals can resist, spam. This has finally been removed and people can no longer just spam no mortals can resist because they have no other skill to run and they have no bright ideas. This skill, as it says here, has been devastating for many decks because of course, duh, it ruins the graveyard when all the new cards come out play in the graveyard. Of course, it's, it's, it's not a good uh, mix, Konami. Of course it isn't. But um, a skill like No Mortals Can Resist has now been changed. It can only be used when your life points are at at least 2,000 or less. And then you can change all the monsters in the graveyard to Skull Servants and you can only use it once per duel. I've always believed that this skill should be once per duel because it's definitely way too powerful to just allow someone to constantly spam each turn and turn your graveyard into Skull Servants is just absolutely ridiculous. And I'm glad that they finally nerfed it. So now that we've literally gotten rid of the Garnetia Elephantis in the room, let's talk about the other garbage skills that they have decided to nerf, clap, and tilt. We're talking about baggy sleeves. You knew that they were gonna get in there on baggy sleeves jammies because the Thunder Dragons are too strong with baggy sleeves, seeing that you don't even need to run a level four monster in that deck, even if you don't want to. Um, you can just play nothing but big monsters and there's no way your opponent can avoid attacking a big monster forever. So they had to put a nerf to baggy sleeves. If your level seven or higher monsters destroyed by battle, <laughs> so not only did they take away um, the uh, barrage combo, but they've also uh, pretty much made it a once per duel type of thing. Now you, can, you can't spam it. This skill is essentially dead. No one's gonna use this skill. So they have literally put uh, Bandit Keef and Ishizu out to pasture and let them go ahead and take their trip all the way to the graveyard. Grit, if you had 4,000 of those things at the start of the duel, your life points will not fall below one. Works one time only. While this skill is applied, you can only special summon one monster until the end of your next turn. Meaning, Grit has been assassinated. Somebody get the creed together because Grit ain't coming back. You might still see Grit Lunar Light, but Grit has been essentially destroyed. Unless you're gonna run some kind of deck that will allow the Grit to go off and you run some kind of recovery strategy and that does not require a special summon or you have some other means of surviving or uh, rebounding because honestly, without a special summon, you have to have a different strategy. And they're basically saying with grit, your strategy cannot be an OTK. And now we're gonna go to Transcendent Crystals. Now they clap Transcendent Crystals. I don't really know why they decide to do this. I think maybe a lot of people say Crystrons, other people, you know, think that they might've done it because they add the new Crystal Beast stuff in there and they thought it might be too consistent there. I don't know. Can be used by turn three and onward by sending one to three cards from the hand to the graveyard. Choose the same number of Crystal Beast monsters from the deck as the number of cards you sent and place them in the spell trap zone. And this card can only be used up to twice per duel. So now they put a limit on how many times you can use it and you must use it after turn three, which essentially puts a bolato in the back of 
Jesse Anderson's head. This is gone uh, forever. Transcendent Crystals, I don't really foresee anyone really using this because only being able to use it by turn three gives extra turns for you to draw those extra crystal beasts and get that hot brick. So it probably is gonna mean that this is gonna be a crystal beast skill only if that, and I doubt people are gonna do that at all. With Heavy Starter, it looks like they messed with the uh, algorithm on how you draw the cards. So it said the skill text will remain the same. That means that they changed some stuff on the back end. Oof, why don't you change some stuff on the back end and let me get a gold Wu Lord of Darkness, Konami. Fusion time. Now they had to change fusion time because a lot of people uh, spent a whole lot of money on that selection box and got Stratos and Stratos not worth nothing. And because Stratos is not worth anything, you have to sure up that investment somehow and make people feel like, hey, I didn't burn my money on this Stratos. So fusion time can be used when your life points are decreased by a thousand of those things. Return one card from your hand to the deck so that you can add a polymerization for free from outside the deck. Then you can add a level four or lower elemental hero normal monster from your graveyard to your hand and you can only use this skill once per duel. So they really made Fusion Time worth it off of a Cosmic Cyclone. You can get a free polymerization and a monster back from the grave. This is really powerful. With cards like Elemental Hero Stratos, is nothing but pluses here. Deck Master Effect, Cyber Commander. If you have Cyber Commander on the field, the attack and defense of warrior and machine monsters you control increased by 300 points. In addition, instead of conducting a normal draw, you can add Cyber Commander to your hand from your deck. I have no words. Now here's the real meat and potatoes, boys. I know that y'all wanna really just talk about this, the, the Forbidden Limited list, and I'm here right with y'all. I think that a lot of people think that I would have some uh, profound things to say about Thunder Dragons, but I only have one thing to say about Thunder Dragons, and that's coming on later. Now listen, right now, they have went ahead and destroyed a few decks here. Um, they went ahead and killed the Desynchro um, Bananas uh, Fortune Lady engine, which is fine. I've seen way too many degenerate FTKs with this. Really pissed me off. Um, I remember it was one with a um, the ally of justice a level 12 uh, level 10 or level 12 monster and pretty much that card will um, pick a card in your hand destroy it and you'll take damage equal to the monster's attack well what they do is use the synchro um, that synchro monster and also arcana force um, what the world I think and he has 4,000 attack or maybe I'm wrong about the world but it's one of those arcana force monsters they put the Arcana Force monster in your hand, then they go ahead and use the effect of the Synchro monster to blow it up and you take four Gs. All that happens on the first turn with this Desynchro garbage, so good fucking riddance. Cyberstein, it's been a long time coming. I really find it ridiculous that they're banning this in 2020 when people were clapping with Cyberstein from day goddamn one using Cyberstein Ojama King. And it doesn't matter how consistent it is, it's about something like this being uh, existing. It's about something like this being able to show up on the ladder and punish you for turning on dual links. And this is extremely toxic and needed to go. Element Saber Melo. Um, I understand that they're trying to slow down, slow down this invoke bullshit, but just get rid of the main problem. Do something to Alistair. Put Alistair at one or two. Don't let people play Alistair all willy fucking nilly because that is the true problem. It is not Element Sabers. It is not Cosmic Cyclone. It is not anything else. It's just Alistair. Do something to Alistair or let them keep their shit. I don't like this kind of stuff because this kind of stuff is like dancing around the issue and not taking care of the issue. And that's more irritating to me than actually doing what needs to be done. And that's just my opinion on that. They finally did something to Dark Magician, but you damn, but you know damn well that they wasn't gonna do anything to Dark Magic Circle or uh, Magician's Navigation. So they gave us a little reprieve with the Dark Magician of Illusion, which I think is not necessarily 
even a real nerf. Again, this is one of those things where they do something and it makes it look like they're actually solving the problem, but they are not. Many people only play two um, of the Magicians of Dark Illusion and sure, they can't play this and Treacherous and blah, 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 blah. But no, fuck that. Because a lot of times all you ever need is one of these and that's enough. So I, so I don't really think that this really solves anything. Plenty of Dark Magician decks either use one of these or none of these and still clap those Jimmy Jams because circle and navigation is the problem um, unless you never miss. And we don't, and we don't talk about the never miss. We don't get there, my boys, don't worry. Now listen, they clapped Vision Hero Vion. I feel so sorry for this boy. Heroes ain't been hitting for shit, but I think they clapped this. this is more of a strategic move because by clapping Grit and clapping Vion, it's forcing you to use Elemental Hero, who? Stratos. Why Stratos? Cause you paid all that goddamn money for him in the selection box and he's been trash. Go ahead and use that fusion time skill that we buffed so you can uh, feel validated on the money you spent. My personal opinion there. They went ahead and hit your boy Rion because they're clapping those boys who love to play um, Crystrons and Rion is really good in pure Crystrons. So they really had to go ahead and nerf Rion uh, or I guess nerf um, his ability to be run with other cards because really when you put these two at these limited to two you're really you're really affecting the ability to use treacherous trap and enemy controller and other cards uh, or um or world legacy clash you're, you're impending using those cards with this deck and so by doing this they want to limit the use of those other cards with chris Rimes, which i guess is understandable because Chris Jones on itself is pretty busted. Now, we're finally here, my boys, at the limited to three. And you thought that I was gonna talk to you about Thunder Dragons right now? No, no, I'm not. I'm skip. I'm skipping it. And Gold Sarcophagus. I'm skipping it. We're gonna come back to that shit later. What we're gonna talk about now is Charge of the Light Brigade. I said in a different stream that I really think that this card is bullshit. And I also think they're being able to run three charge of the goddamn light brigade with everything else and three solar recharge is just literal absolute trash. You should not be able to do that in dual links, 20 and 30 card decks, and you get to burn your entire deck on the first fucking turn and set yourself up with the perfect hand. No, charge of the light brigade is not a, a healthy card in this game. And I would argue that it should have been up here slapped with the two so that now it would have put it in an even rougher spot for this deck. But I just hate light swarms with a passion, but this is doing something kind of, but then again, you can still run three charge, three solar and whatever the hell else you want. So in actuality, nothing. Now also we have sheer Nui Squire. This is pretty funny. Um, they went ahead and hit this card and put it down to a limit of three limiting cards like cosmic cyclone and other stuff from being run with this deck, uh, run with sheer Nui. And honestly, I think that it is good that they did that. But again, this is another thing. You're not addressing the problem. The issue is level augmentation, not sheer Nui squire. So if you did something to level augmentation, you made it a life point requirement or something that would have been fine to me, but just putting Squire at three and saying, oh, you can't do Cosmic Cyclone or whatever other cards that are limited to three. Uh, meh, that's, that's a big meh for me. But also they have been clapped as well because you can't run three Sheer Nui Squire and three Gold Sarcophagus, which is the next card, which I would say, okay, you get a couple claps for that. I think that that's actually a worthy nerf. So this might've actually been a decent kind of nerf, but I would have preferred something be done to level aug and you could you could let them have it. Let them have it. Level aug to me is the problem, not these being at three. Um, because you know, level augmentation puts out um, squ Sun Saga and Sun Saga with one Shinui monster in the graveyard is enough to just not die. And I think that that's just busted. So if you know, you used to be able to use your, uh, element sabers and used to be able to flip them face down and then go ahead and bring out your purgatorio 
and uh, smacky smacky attacky tacky and they'd have to take the damage or perish um, but you know hey that's not the case anymore so it is what it is so let's talk about golden sarcophagus and thunder dragon dark and I'm gonna tell you guys right now right now that your boy has been dueling on a cosmic level because my thunder dragon deck will not be affected by these changes and that's why you don't run a 30 card thunder dragon you run a 20 card thunder dragon with the boy chris Stron kwan all of the duelists that play thunder dragons need to wake up wake up right now wake, wake up wake up wake up wake up wake up wake 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 up out of your sleep wake up because i play chris Stron kwan i don't have to really worry about this bull i don't have to worry because i got deep sea diva and i think that just taking this out taking out the two and you already probably run two of these so you will probably run two thunder dragon dark and one gold sarcophagus i would say replace your two gold sarcophagus with enemy controller and that's it right now i'll even show you my deck under the new band list this is what thunder dragon chris drones would look like you just remove your uh, golden sarcophagus out of this uh, particular deck. And then I was already running two Thunder Dragon Darks. So go ahead and run two Econs in the place of golden sarcophagus. And that's gonna leave you with perfect tools because if you gotta you think about how do you use golden sarcophagus, golden sarcophagus, how I use it is a game ending combo card, which allows me to go into Chris Tron, Corian, Gandrax for game and everything else, but I can still do that because I play one. But what's another game ending card in this deck? Enemy controller. Enemy controller will end game because second taking control still wins in 2020. Also, it gives you some defense from attack, just change somebody to defense. And additionally, because you're using cards like Chris Tron, Quan that can help you to survive using Powered and Zectron. You're using cards like uh, Deep Sea Diva that can help you go into a multitude of synchro monsters. It's absolutely incredible what you can do after Thunder Dragon Roars effect goes off and puts another card on the field. Econ take, activate my monsters effect and go nuts. Also with no mortals at one use with the life points being at 2000, you're not even going to give them a chance to pop no mortals because the only way they're popping no mortals is if they get off two cosmic cyclones and they're not going to do that against you because they're going to get wiped out before they get the chance. And even if they do get the chance, they can only use it once now. So now is the time to fight from the hand using the power of Chris Tron Quan. Make sure that your potential is unlocked by adhering to the promise of the masterpiece. And if you don't know what that is, you can check out my latest KOG video and never ever miss. So that's it my boys on my opinion of this new band list. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I hope that you guys um, really had a kick out of my opinion here. Also, I'm gonna give you one more opinion. The DDD or the double D castle um, is literal trash. They're treating your boy like garbage. Um, I've only collected one, literally count them, one gold rule lord of darkness because the R&D on this is ridiculous. I have so many fucking Maxim Six and Hydra Gedons and fucking Water Dragon Fairies is driving me insane. I have the worst luck when it comes to playing this crap and I keep getting jewels and everything else but I just never, ever, ever got a gold. And this gold I got is because I climbed the ladder. And as you can see, I have maxed it out. So it's there for me, this sucks. I hate doing this. And right now I think I have something like nearly 300 jewels. So I'll have enough to pay for a, um, a goddamn prismatic gold by the time I'm done with this. And I'll, and I probably won't even have a third because the lottery is literal trash. So yes, I'm done my boys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep it dead. Alliance, Alliance.